everybody welcome to Lisa Simmons art today I'm going to be doing a paint pour on a wooden plaque that I purchased at Walmart and I'm gonna give you guys a heads up right now do not purchase a wooden plaque at Walmart that has a sticker on the front of it this one had a big rectangular sticker on it and I thought it was gonna peel off easily well it didn't and I ended up having to sand this off to get it smooth you can still see part of the sticker on here that I could not get off of there and it was a real biatch to do so do not buy the wooden plaques at Walmart with this sticker on them. I have this on some paint pyramids to hold it up so it doesn't lay in its own paint, just in case you guys were wondering. I have some pastel colors in this cup here that was left over from another paint pour that I did earlier on some tiles. So I thought I would just go ahead and use it up on this wooden plaque. Maybe paint something over it. Use this as a background. So that'll be another future project for me. The colors for this cup are going to be listed in the video description and I have spot on treadmill lubricant mixed in every color so that we can produce some cells. So I'm just going to do like a ribbon pour on here. Let's begin. Seeing some cool cells. Even though I have enough paint on here I'm just going to go ahead and use the rest that's in the cup. And check the sides to make sure everything's covered. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking my finger and going under it and getting the overflow paint that is accumulating along the bottom here. The reason you do that is because that paint can actually pull your paint off of here. See it looks like it started to pull a little bit. It had a lot of paint on here. Way more than was necessary but I was just going to end up throwing it away anyway if I didn't use it. Okay, what I want to do is take my torch and torch it to see if I can get any more cells coming up. We've got some cool cells coming up there already though. Got a few more little cells popping up. Probably going to change while it dries because there's a lot of paint on here. The reason we use a torch, there's two reasons. To bring up cells that could be underneath the paint and also to pop any bubbles, in case you were wondering. Okay, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And stay tuned for close-ups. I'll see you next time. Bye.